is Elk Street, and my two words are prideful and humbled. Uh, so I was blessed to be born into a home with two very strong Christian parents, and they did a they did a great job of raising me in the church. So I I went to church at a very early age. I went to Sunday school. I went to youth group. I learned the Bible stories and all that. And so the idea of believing in God was second nature. It made it makes sense to me. And but my idea of Christianity growing up was that there were a bunch of rules. There were a bunch of rules that were given to us by God. And if you wanted to find favor with God, you had to follow these rules. And that made sense. You know, that's sort of the idea that that's the way that the world works, you know. There there's there's these things that you have to do and when you do good things you you earn stuff. You get a good job, you go to a good school, you get good grades. And so I thought, that must be the way it works with God, too. And that was also reinforced by the fact that when I followed the rules, people thought that I was a good kid. I wanted people to think that I was a good kid. I wanted to be accepted. And so I followed the rules. And I thought I was doing a good job. And that was when I thought that the rules were just the Ten Commandments. To not steal, to not kill, honor your father and your mother. I thought, yeah, I can do that. That's easy. And I... I was very prideful because of that, thinking that I had it all together, thinking that I had found favor with God by following his rules. But as I grew up and as I learned more, it became clear that those weren't the only rules, that the rules were much stricter than that. But I thought that I could still, I could still follow them. Uh, I would have to. I mean, how else was I going to find favor with God? And so that thought process continued. It Put a lot of stress on me to be perfect basically I had a lot of perfectionism and this continued until I went into college where I met some great guys and I think I heard the gospel in its entirety for the first time and there was this idea of grace this idea that you know we can't earn our right standing with God that our right standing with God is earned because of what Jesus did on the cross for us because he died for our sins and I thought you know that's a great idea but for other people, which, looking back, is completely ridiculous. Um, so I thought, you know, this grace idea is good for other people, but I've, I've got it together. I still had so much pride in my life, and that, that uh, prevented me from having as close a relationship with God as I would like. Um, and then the Lord started working in my life in interesting ways. When I got home from college after my freshman year, I wasn't myself. I was irritable and angry and just all around not a nice guy and you know that was weird because I might have been a nice guy and so people people noticed this and it turned out I was depressed um, and through that the Lord really stripped away my pride because this image that I had built for myself of being the good kid it was gone because I alienated a lot of people the sort of the nice visage that I had had been torn away and people could see who I really was now. Um, and that's when I really saw who I was too, saw that I was imperfect, I was wretched, there was no way that I was going to be able to earn myself to God. And so this idea of grace, that I am in right standing with God because of Jesus' death on the cross and I've accepted him as my savior. And I felt so much peace through that. I was incredibly humbled that Jesus would die for me while I was still a sinner. And now, I mean, the, I, there are still you know, commandments that God has given us, but the idea that I follow them because of what Jesus has done for me out of a, out of a spirit of gratitude, and that just makes a world of difference. I am free to mess up, and God will still love me, but God will still work in me to make me more like Jesus. And so I still struggle with pride a lot. I still think that I have it all together when things are going well. But the Lord continues to humble me. I still mess up. The Lord shows that to me, and I will, I will continue to be humbled. My name is Alex, and those are my two words.